Okay, go. Instructions. New compressor. So everybody's used to the old Frigidaire or Delco AC, uh, A6 compressor, the big black one. Well, here's a silver one. Uh, this is made in Malaysia. Some of them were made in China a few years ago, but this is the new style A6. Now what you'll notice is missing on here, other than it being aluminum and not painted black, is there's that sump, that belly, the oil pan is missing on this. So specifically in the instructions, this is gonna be something that if you don't read, you'll get wrong. And there's another little confusion with using colors. So you know how some guys don't like to read the tags, but if they just so happen to pick up the instructions and briefly, without paying specific attention, they talk about colors on here. This compressor comes with color-coded labels on the ports. The instructions indicate whether it should be drained or installed or not. In all cases, add the correct amount type of the lubricant, uh, the viscosity and the amount. You must read and do a little research if you're not sure of this. Now, these compressors held six ounces in the belly of the compressor. That is not on here anymore. And specifically, on this yellow tag, it says reduce recommended oil charge by three ounces. Now that's something that you never had to do on the old original A6 because of the belly. This one doesn't have a belly or having that reserve in it. So specifically read that. Another one, this particular one, not all of them, it says right in here it has three ounces of refri uh, refrigerant oil charge inside this system. I would recommend pouring it out and measuring it anyway. Do not trust any manufacturer. Um, occasionally, somebody will rebox one brand, throw it into another box with no instructions or different instructions, and it won't actually be what's in the compressor. So it's your responsibility to open up that compressor and check that it actually matches what's on the piece of paper, and they don't always line up. Be careful with that. Here we're gonna check another thing. When you have these old shaft steel types, on here, it specifically says, turn the compressor up on its nose on the shaft seal, because you want the lubricant to pour down to the shaft, and then there's a seal with rubber on it. You want the oil on that. Now, old instructions used to say 15 to 30 minutes, but they know people nowadays, time, money, and impatience with the attention span of a goldfish will never do that. So they have reduced it down to one to three, one to three minutes. They don't give you one minute or three, they say one to three. Of course, a lot of guys will do one minute. I like to leave them there for 15 minutes while I'm doing something else. Another thing you never trust on brand new compressors is the clutch gap. Well, if you take a look close right here, zoom in right here, you will see there's a cover on here and you physically cannot see the clutch. It's almost like one of those clutchless Mercedes uh, breakaway compressors, but it's not. There's actually a clutch. This is like a big rig on vehicles, off-road vehicles that go on dusty, dirty roads. They put cover, dust covers on them. So you can't see what the clutch gap is. Uh, I would like to, but since you can't, physically go engage it because sometimes they have the clutch gap so far apart, when you give it power, it doesn't engage. So we're gonna engage it here. We're just simply up to a battery. Listen for the click. You hear the click? Now, to my ears, that gap sounds rather large. You go, how can you tell that gap with your ears? Believe me, you can tell the gap with your ears. Uh, that's a pretty large gap. So, you would have to, if you really want to be anal about it, you would take this apart and try to get down into the clutch and, and adjust the clutch if you wanted to. Hold it upside down. Remember, we had it one to three minutes. And oh, we, I just disconnected it, fell out, it's getting loose. There we go. Spin the shaft seal downward with the oil on it. While you're doing this, right now I have the caps off so no oil spitting up at me, but I get high compression and you start building up compression, it gets harder and harder. Now what you preferably want to do without spilling oil on you, remove the pressure by removing the cap and even though they're brand new, especially remember, do not trust them, spin them, 
and get used and train yourself how different compressors feel and you're looking for a tight spot. If you feel one particular tight spot located somewhere on that 360 degrees and you feel this up, that is not right. It shouldn't. Most compressors should not have a real tight spot. Now, there are some compressors that their clearance is like old, the General Marathon, the Harrison 5, the five cylinder. Some of those brand new with tight clearances would be so tight you almost can't turn them by hand when they're brand new. So you're kind of screwed on that one. Um, but look for a tight spot, anything that feels unusual. After you disengage, don't trust brand new compressors before you put them on. Disconnect, spin the bearing, listen with your ears and feel with your finger. You're looking for a rough bearing. Just because it's brand new doesn't mean it's gonna be good. Because if the technician had to put it in this Mercedes and he spent three hours putting it in or something like that, or some other cars that are even worse, he's not gonna be happy when he puts it in and finds out when he engages the clutch, it won't re-engage and there's no room to do any clutch adjustments on the car. He will not be happy if he finds out the shaft seal is leaking, so that's why we have the oil pouring down and we spin it. There's many other instructions I'm not going to go over on here, but it is your responsibility as a technician to read and don't depend on your memory and what you know from years past. Because even like Denzos, we all know Denzos used to be packed with a full charge of oil that came from the manufacturer for the whole entire vehicle. Well, they come dry now. And guess what my surprise was when I got the first one was dry. We won't go there. See you guys later. See ya.